Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So it is Friday. It is the time of the day that really I should have been uploading a video. But yesterday was just a real poop show. It was one of those days that started out with a plan and my camera in hand. We actually were supposed to vlog yesterday and film our weight loss update because I have a lot to share with you guys in that regards. So that'll still be coming. I'm just in my office trying to get caught up on stuff, get some stuff done. One of the things I need to do is go through our family photos because the photographer sent the link, I don't know, like the week of Thanksgiving, I think it was, and it like has a deadline. Like you have to pick your photos by a certain date, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so I really need to get that done. And it's just, I'm freezing cold. It's cold and rainy outside. So not helping the motivation, but I'm trying just really hard to get back on track because as I was saying yesterday, just fell apart and I had an anxiety attack. I just had for hours, felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. Felt like I couldn't breathe at one point. And I spent the majority of the afternoon in bed. I watched two episodes of Virgin River, the continuation of season five, which I thought it was gonna be like six episodes or more. I had no idea it was only two episodes. That was disappointing. I watched The Golden Bachelor last night, Bachelor in Paradise. Golden Bachelor, um, you know, really early on, the girl that he ended up picking, I won't say her name in case you haven't watched it yet, but really early on, she was like stirring up some trouble. You could tell she really, really truly liked him. This wasn't about winning for her. Like she wanted her man. She was in love with him. So I, I liked the ending. So keep in mind, I feel like more now than ever because a lot of our videos end up just being me for so many reasons. You guys all know, my videos tend to almost be like diary, like journal entries. Like this is what I did today. This is what I'm doing. This is how I feel. And um, a lot of you, and a lot of you probably don't realize how much of that is almost like therapy to me. It's like free therapy other than I have to edit and upload the video, but it's cheaper than therapy. I'll tell you that. So we got this package at our PO box. I don't know how long ago. It was set at the end of November, November 22nd. It's postmarked. So it wasn't, didn't sit there that long. Sometimes we forget to check our PO box and stuff sits in there for a while. PO box is down in the description below. If you do want it, sometimes people send us Christmas cards, which is fun. But um, when I first opened it and realized what was inside and, ah, and read the card, which was super nice, um, it's actually this woman's small business. So I thought it'd be great to share because I love helping out and supporting small businesses, especially at the holidays. So her store actually is like on Etsy. And she wrote, it's so cute because she's like, this is for this dog, this is for this cat. So there's tons of stuff. I'm not going to say like which things are for which pet because that would just take forever. But she makes these really cute scrunchies. And the cute part is, is the scrunchies match the pet products. So you could literally do like the cutest photos or just like match your pet for fun. But I just right away always visualize the cutest photos. Like bow ties that you can put their collar through like for a cat. The style of bow ties for dogs, for the boys. But look at these, they're so cute. Here's the matching green one. The style of bow tie, this one, I love this pattern. That is so cute. So these are a little bit bigger for like Dax and Tucker, like golden retriever size. There's so many cute patterns. I think I already showed that one, but. There's also bandanas. So here's, Bigger ones for the golden retrievers. Cute, cute. I love this camo print. And then like medium sized ones. There's a cute Christmas baking one. Look at that paw print. Oh, this is so cute. So these are great, um, like she mentioned in her card. These just slip right over your pet's neck and to wear as a bandana where like the bow ties would hook on their collar. We don't keep collars on our dogs 24 seven, just personal preference. Here's, here's the other bigger bow tie. 
for Dexter Tucker. Oh my gosh, a keychain holder. Carly is going to love this. But I just thought those were too cute to not share with you guys. I almost forgot, she gave the code OFM10 to get 10% off your order. Well, thank you for that. Thank you, Mary, for sending these. I just, again, love supporting small businesses. Links down below. Love, love supporting small businesses. I feel like December is one of those months where I'm just naturally annoying on YouTube. Let's get in a room with some lights on. Gloomy Michigan. It's three o'clock and it already feels dark. Remember this day. Remember this moment because First of all, I have Christmas presents coming in the mail. I already have stuff down here. I have stuff up there. That's on my wrapping paper and stuff. Carly just texted me. Let's see where she's going. The grocery store coming home now. Man, I thought she was getting something to eat. I'm like, I need some caffeine. I feel like I could use a fountain diet coke. Can't talk about Christmas presents. Can't talk about online shopping that I'm trying to do. Can't talk about something that's happening today that you'll hear about soon. Can't talk about what's happening next weekend that I'll talk about soon. It's like, what can I talk about? She's not gonna wanna come. I said I might leave and get a fountain pop wanna come. If I, but I put Diet Coke into her head so she might fall for it. Sitting there, I was back in my office. It's two days later since the last time I filmed, guys. Yesterday, I worked on business stuff almost all day because I took advantage of, Ken went to the UT, University of Toledo, something football game, I don't even know what, at Ford Field. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get work done because sometimes he tells me, why are you working on weekends? Weekends are, you know, whatever. But then what does he do today? I'm reading in bed because I started wildfire and it's just really good. So I'm reading in bed and he comes up at like one o'clock. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I just been working all morning. I interviewed a doctor, I did this, I did that, I talked to so-and-so, I did this. So he's working all Sunday morning, so whatever. I feel like this whole week is gonna be really kinda cray-cray. Again, it'll make sense later. Do I even have anything to post? Because this is like, this is pointless. This is a pointless vlog. Hey guys, Ken here. How are you today? It's uh, Sunday. Rainy and cold outside here in Michigan. Just a little update, been spending all day, actually I worked this morning on a Sunday, go figure, but uh, watching a lot of football. Dolphins won again, good for the Dolphins. Tyreek's on pace to uh, break the NFL uh, receiving record. He's on my fantasy teams, which one, I'm with Chase, and right now we're 10-2. and two. I think we're got a 50-50 chance of winning today, but we lost Tank Dell. He went out with a season-ending injury. Chase dropped a receiver. I'm mad at him, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Dolphins won today 45-15. They are now 9-3 on a roll. Things are hot with the Dolphins. Notre Dame finished their season winning out, which is good, but didn't make a bowl. Um, yesterday, uh, actually, um, went with brother Jim, Chase, and my nephew uh, Joe to the uh, to Ford Field to watch uh, the Toledo Rockets play the Miami Red Hawks uh, in the MAC Championship, and the Rockets came up short. I did go to University of Toledo, so that's who I'm rooting for. I did not uh, complete school, so that's something I've been thinking about, is maybe going back and getting my degree in business. I don't know if Candy agrees, but uh, I think I think it's time. I'm, I'm gonna be 50 years old this week, and uh, maybe it's time to do something a little little different with my, uh, my extra time, I guess. So maybe I'll go back and try to get my degree. That'd be kinda, kinda cool. Um, anyways, uh, little story on Chase, turned 21 obviously. He was uh, introduced himself to FanDuel and um, DraftKings, go figure. So when you sign up they give you free money and the little sucker has hit almost every freaking time. He, he didn't know on FanDuel when they give you the 150 comp that uh, you have to sp you don't have to spend it all. So he put it all on a parlay and hit like 800 and some dollars, woke up the next morning on uh, I think it was Saturday. Um, what, no, actually it was Thursday. He put it on um, the Cowboys game and hit 863 bucks. Then he parlayed, opened another account today, did a Tyree Kill touchdown, Mostert, did a three team, three three uh, thing parlay with Mostert, Tyree Kill, and I don't know what else it was, but hit that again for another 300 and some ducks, bucks, but his, his luck's gonna run out eventually. So right now I'm watching the... Uh, the um, 49ers and Eagles game behind the screen right now is on the TV. I got uh, McCaffrey on my team. 
Uh, but other than that, it's just been kind of football, 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 football. I know she's tired of it. We're in the month of December now. Um, what am I doing for my 50th birthday? I have no idea yet. Haven't really thought about it. Um, I do have a poker party coming up with some of the guys that uh, are involved in our football league. As you know, I volunteer for the WJFL as a commissioner, so I'm having the guys over on December 16th. We're going to play some poker, watch some college bowl games, eat some snacks, have some cocktails, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, other than that, I don't think we have anything else really planned other than just getting ready for the holidays and, um, you know, watching football while hoping the Dolphins win their division, which would be cool, and uh, making it to the Super Bowl. I don't think Notre Dame is going to get a very good uh, bowl game. I think they might put them up, you know, for, for views, put them up against LSU. But I know with the transfer portal, if you guys know anything about that, you got guys that have already transferred, guys that have already registered to enlist in the uh, NFL draft. Uh, I just scored. He's on my fantasy bench. Purdy threw the touchdown. He's on my bench. I had Stroud today. So, uh, But anyways, I know I'm jumping around. Um, anyways, uh, football, football, guys. Other than that, um, hope you're doing well. some TikToks recently that a bunch of people are saying this book is like one of the best books of 2023. I need to read it. Apparently it's going to make me cry. And then I always just check the new releases area. They had this. Um, Emily Stone wrote Always in December, which is, it, it's a holiday book. Um, I read that a couple years ago. It was really good. I still have one last gift. <laughs> on my Christmas shelf. I probably have like 10 Christmas books to read, but this one was rated pretty high on Goodreads, so I was like, we'll give it a try. Again, reason why I love the library is I can start reading a book, and if I don't like it, I don't have to finish it, and there's no guilt involved. I just take it back. I just felt like I needed an excuse to get out for a couple minutes. What better thing to do than go get a diet soda? Is anybody having a hard time believing that it's December? What is, like, I'm so confused. I feel like because this weather is, like, everything feels late. Like, this doesn't look like December weather. It should be snowing right now, not raining. And it's 42 degrees outside, where normally it would be, like, 20. Not complaining, though. I mean, I would rather have it snow than rain, though. So what is everyone asking for for Christmas this year? Because I literally could not think of a single thing that I want. Hi, can I get a large Diet Coke with light ice? All right. That's it. All right, that will be easy. Thank you. Do you guys remember when drinks at McDonald's used to be a dollar? It's a dollar sixty-nine and then ten cent sack tax. Oh my god, I can't talk. A dollar seventy-nine for a large drink. I could go buy a two-liter for that price. Wow, I'm shocked. You know what's funny? Is I actually thought about doing Vlogmas this year. And you guys realize if I would have, it literally would have consisted of me talking in every video because what else do I do? <laughs> you know, it's funny when I get those comments where people are like, you talk too much. It's like, where have you been? Living under a rock? Are you subscribed to this channel? Do you even know what my videos are? <laughs> I'll bring that up to you guys. This isn't the first time I've said this in videos before. And I'll bring that up to you guys. And so many other people will comment, no, I love, you could talk about whatever. I love it, I love it. So even if I can make one person's day, like one person laugh or whatever, you know, it's, it's worth it. And like I said at the beginning of this video, at least I think I did, when it was the day after me having that really bad day. Um, this just pushes me to be better. 
and to feel better. I don't know, I guess I'm still hanging on to that little thread of YouTube is still one purpose that I serve on this in this world. Like, I still have to show up once in a while and say something. I have my Diet Coke. I'm gonna go inside, read Wildfire some more, and see what else is happening in the house. Hey guys, so I am signing off for the night, ending this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Getting ready to read. It's 10.20. Last night I stayed up till 1 a.m. and got pretty far in this book, so I have a feeling I might be finishing it today. This little light here, oh my gosh, I love this thing. So it wouldn't clip on my bed. See so yeah, it's got like this clip. So I just used that like 3M sticky tape stuff that you use like, I don't know, to hang like hooks and stuff. And I hung it up there. But this is that the light from Ikea. I'm sure they still have it because they carry out the same stuff all the time. But I think they had it in black or white. But I just love it so much. It just has a little switch right here on the side great christmas gift idea if you have someone who reads if you guys want more like christmas gift ideas i made a video last year like christmas ideas for your mom um god i just really am drawing a blank this year maybe i'll link that video down below because i feel like that could still give you like a lot of good ideas for christmas if you're struggling like to like, get your mom your grandma like a lot of it could apply to any woman or gal in your life. It's not all like, it's not like old people stuff, but you know. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. We'll be back on Wednesday. See you guys then. Bye.